serikali now the ruling jubilee administration is facing a new revolt from a section of its mps who are adamant they won't accept to resign as chairman of the various parliamentary committees as pushed by the top party leadership the four defiant mps are now accusing the party of dictatorship and seeking to cover up corruption by having a weak mps departmental committees and as our political reporter duncan hamba reports jubilee party is serious on ejecting four mps and already notices for their removal on tuesday next week have been issued in two meetings convened by Deputy President William Ruto at Western Hotel and Thursday at State House by President Uhuru Kenyatta, Jubilee Party leadership has now resorted to use force to eject its new rebels from committees using parliament. The new rebels Moi Ben Silas Tren, Marakwet East Kangogo Bowen, Embakasi North James Gakuya, Mgwens Alex Kosgei, together with their Nandi Hills counterpart Alfred Keter, have received notices for their removal come Tuesday, January 23rd. The notices to attend the committee's proceedings have been signed by National Assembly Clerk Michael Sialai. It is interesting that because when they were electing the chairs, they were all, uh, all members were all, all over an unsound mind, or rather they were not in their right senses. When they were electing the vice chairs in the, in the three committees, they were, on, uh, they were in their senses. So I don't know how, how, how that was mentioned, how that was determined. It's also very interesting because I think that's a mystery. Because unless we have a, a medical facility or unit in parliament that maybe some of us don't know. It's totally a new thread in this particular house. And uh, it's a thread where personally I do think and believe in totality that is the meaning and killing the democracy and independence of National Assembly. And it is an act whereby we are going to give executive a space to molest, to bore, and to intimidate the members of the House. And this, make, this, this totally will result into even not able for the National Assembly to do oversight work. The leaders have termed the resolution to remove them under a vote of no confidence as ridiculous, as grounds for their removal are clearly stipulated by standing orders. When they say we've been passed, they are passing a photo of, a photo of no confidence to remove us. What is the reason? Because unless, my, unless they are using our acceptance speech to remove us, because that's the only thing we've done since we were elected. The other things that are going on are his induction. Most of the committees have just started induction this week. So the only information they have about their chairs is the induction, is the acceptance speech. So I don't know whether they're using that to remove us. Maybe they will tell us on that. I want to say, since we were elected, no single committee meeting has kicked off. None has commenced. So how can you think of uh, voting somebody, uh, bring a vote of no confidence without have attested the leadership of our, of our chair? And the affected MPs are angry that the Jubilee top brass was engaging in an overdrive to eject them. They are now linking this move to corruption. I think Kenyans will judge us very harshly, very, very, very harshly, because we are supposed to be oversight, and if they are going to behave like this, controlling, if the executive are going to make sure they even control the person who is going to chair the committees, then who is going to do the oversight? We can as well then close parliament and forget about legislation, and forget about oversight. We have a lot of things that are going on now. I think you are aware the other day that uh, there is already a complaint that maize importation, the, uh, the subsidy maize that was imported was excess. Agriculture committee is supposed to come uh, deal with that in terms of oversight. You are aware that there was sugar, brown sugar that was imported the other day after the subsidy had been closed. The one that was in Mombasa the other day that arrived after the subsidy had been closed. KRA is supposed to be paid 2.5 billion. That is supposed to be left to a committee of agriculture to, to do oversight and find out the truth about it. There is the issue of imported uh, powder milk that is coming in and ruining the, ruining the prices of farmers. That is supposed to be left to, uh, to agriculture committee to deal with. They there are some cartels who are interested in uh, importation of sugar, in importation of fertilizers. That's why they don't want some people in, uh, to head agriculture department because maybe they will, they will not be in a position to do their own things which they wanted to do. There are some cartels who are against the cartel in the ministry of, uh, in, the, in the department of labor because of interest in SSSF. Been, it's been a cash cow for so many years. There are some cartels 
who are not interested maybe uh, with my position as a vice chair environment water and mineral resources because of the huge water projects which is being uh, carried out uh, now in, in the country. Now I'm the biggest loyal, loyalist. I respect the deputy president, but the act and action they, and the thread they are taking is totally bringing dictatorship in the leadership of the National Assembly. They spoke as farmers' representatives from North Rift region hit out at the presidency. Tunataka watu warusu demokrasia ya kindani kwa vyama na kurusu watu wafanya kazi zao vile wanaelewa. Kwa wakulima kutoka fonda la uva, tunasema kwamba tiren tulimchakua tukiwa na akili timamu. Yes. Akaenda pale pale eh, National Assembly akachaguliwa na walio akili timamu na kama kuna moja ama kuna mtu ama yule aelewe ya watu kuliwa aone psychiatrist ndio matara iko mbali sana na Nairobi elsewhere capsaret lawmaker Oscar Sudi came to the defense of the party over the disputed parliamentary positions nyinyi mnajua jubilee lisunga Kenya msema ikisema tuko pamoja tunataka tukue pamoja tutahakikisha kwamba tumegawa fiketi across the country mimi nataka niseme kwamba makosa hiyo imepatikana na sisi tuko na chama 100% personally i was told to resign and i went for election and i was given the opportunity because members elected me my opponent got 6 votes i got 12 votes now i don't understand what i'm told to resign and leave it to them i would want to pause and ask this question if the president was told today to resign and hand over the position of presidency to his, his honorable uh, Raila. Would it be possible? So, because I think it's the same. Parliament is independent, the executive is independent. They need to leave us to do our work. The Jubilee renegades have vowed to take the fight down to the wire, even as committee members prepare for the Tuesday meetings. It should stop this kind of party dictatorship. Otherwise, if they want Jubilee to go down before 2022, some of us we are ready. There are so many parties, we can go elsewhere. Yes, we are not we are not clued to Jubilee. Duncan 